Hey, it's James from Feeling Electrical. On today's video, we're starting the smart home project. Let's get into this. We're on a mission. Drill through that. Get some cables. Pop down along through the boiler. We've got to get cables to the cinema room. Hey, it's James from Feeling Electrical. On today's video, we're installing this three phase board to this house. Here we go. Let's get into this. Right then, so we're down here yesterday and I forgot to bring the camera, so I ended up doing half of the job already. Um, but we'll show you what we did. I took a few pictures actually. There we go, here's the shots from yesterday then, sort of showing this is the the uh, area where the board's going then, all the cables dangling down. So I put like a little dust sheet down because this is gonna this is gonna be an actual shelfing unit, so we don't want to damage this shelfing unit at the bottom. <clears throat> if we flick across, there we go. So I've had to put the CCTV up there because there's like a big box there doing CCTV for the site, and we had to keep it going, so I had to move that one over. Uh just showing the cables, lots of cables going in, bit of trunking, so we've got it laid on the floor, then marked it up, so it was only like a meter cut. March around it. That's me uh, smiling at the camera <laughs> with me uh, with me uh, angle grinder. I couldn't get any shots angle grinding because it was quite precise. Yeah, but there we go. That's a nice little meter bit. That's it on the wall. And then I put the cables in. <laughs> and then I put the little angle on. So there we go. Not too bad. So that's what we did yesterday then. Uh, so today we're just going to put like a little piece from here to here. Get the board mounted on. I've got some couplers, like 50 mil couplers. Um, so we're gonna have to get them marked up and that'll be the distance away from the trunking and then I want to match that gap to the end of the Box in here, so we'll show you how to do that. Right, so we've got a 50 mil cutter. I'm gonna put some 50 mil Holes in the side of the board which should land Nicely just past this little bracket here So there'll be uh, five holes here for the cables to come in and then we're gonna cut the bottom slot out And there'll be a nice opening here. So some cables could come up and some cables could come through so the best way to do that then, if you get the actual lock nut, so you don't want these clashing, so you put these too close to each other, I'll show you. When you actually try to tighten them up, the, if you did them that close, basically they will clash as, it, as you try to tighten them up. So they want to be at least that much away from each other. At the same time, it wants to look nice and equal on here. So we're going to position these on here. These should line up pretty good to be fair. There we go then, that'll do then. So something like that'll be great. So that's not gonna clash with here. It's not gonna clash up here. And they should cut through there and then land on this trunk in here. So there we go. Now, yeah, so it's come on nicely then since the last we've been here then. So we've got all this front porch sorted. Inside's all plastered and First coats on and stuff like that. Some rooms are looking more done than others, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice little project, really, isn't it? Yeah, then let's get that drilled then. Let's get these off here. Don't need these anymore. Got these to drill, and then we've got to then offer it up to this board then, as it's going to sit on here. And if I mark them, get those drilled. And then what you do then, you put a little coupler. This is a 50 mil coupler, so that goes between that trunking and the fuse board. I'll continue on it and then um, the bush then you gotta bush this side bush that side and it'll lock it into place that is the plan once that's up we then have to take into consideration this cable we're going to gland this cable in into the top because there's no other way of getting an armor cable glanded in <laughs> there's an earth there we'll bring the earth through here i hope it's long enough i didn't run that in that was the hit the heat pump guy i'm hoping that earth is long enough actually i don't think it will be no. There we go, that's all the holes in. So then, I'm just going to offer this up to the trunk in then. 
Just gonna lift it up. We'll probably put a bush and coupler in. And then once that's up, we can get it to the right height and then just mark around like this from within the coupler. And we should have a nice few holes down here. So it's just, it's just wedged in for now. Obviously the lid will go on after that. Uh, but we're gonna get this leveled up, get some fixing on through this, and get this mount to the wall. There we go, that's coming coming together nicely now then. So what we're doing then is just line these up. So because we've done a 52 mil hole, there's a bit of play. So we're just gonna loosen this off and then we can get that to line up. See there's a gap there now. There we go, that gap's disappeared now. They're looking pretty sweet. Look at that, that'll do. So, next you have to do then, I'm just gonna get a pencil and mark around this then. That'll do. So if we get a hole saw this big, we can cut a hole saw here, a hole saw there, angle ground between and end up with a perfect little slot. There we go, so I've got that on. I was playing with this uh, incoming kit now. So it comes in the box. I started doing it for right, I better show me doing some work. Pull these out. This is how it comes in, so you get your couple bars. So this allows a main cable, which will be this eventually, to come up, land into the bottom of there, and then three phase, L1, L2, L3 and neutral. So that's what this is. So L1, L2, L3 and neutral. Neutral's on this end though. That just snaps in like that. Beautiful. And then these should line up. If we just lay these in, they should line up exactly where they need to be. If you get them in loose, uh, try the cover, and then if the cover fits nicely, you uh, pop it in. If you look there, there's number one there. If you look there, there's number two there. And get this in. And then three. And then once you tighten them up, they don't touch. And you're good to go. So it just comes with some nuts. So I need to get the right nuts for the right bits. If you like 125 amps, you can have one here. No, I've lost a nut. It's in the abyss. So what we've done is recorded down all the circuit details down then. And where they're going to go then in the board. So that's the left hand side, that's the right hand side. Right there, so we're just going to find out what's what and then get them slotted through the air so they go to the right places. There we go, first cable in then. So that's going to come down nice and neat through there. All the, I've numbered them all up, so that's number four. So I'm just going to do this for now. I need to leave these long enough in case I need to move. I think the uh, Smart Home lads are on holiday. So that means, uh, I don't know if they want them all in the same phase is the issue, because this will be three phase. So, yeah. They might need to rejig, so I'm just going to get them all in and coiled up long enough to move them out a bit um, and get them into the board. If they need to move, they can rather than chop them all to length and then extend stuff when it's brand new. That won't be fun, would it? Now, nah, let's get all these in then. There we go, 
Nice and neat then. So we've got all these dressed in nicely. They're all curving around, so they're ready to go then. So we need to know if they want them on the same phase or separate phases. Just to, because obviously if you can balance out your loads better, but if, if it's going to mess up any kind of communication between the panels, I don't know. So we should find out about that. Well, that's just cables in here then. So they're just super neat then. Nicely going in. These will dress in, come up, in and out and done. So we've still got some grommet strips to fit in here. So we'll fit that later because I've run out. So I've got 10 metres worth of cardar strip, that'll do. Um, I still need to find this nut before I can power this up. <laughs> I'm going to have to order one. Um, and then it's going to be this single face supply to start with. So we'll have to just bring this through the front for temporarily and link out these three phases um, for now. So it'll be a single phase supply and then it'll branch off three phases here. We'll just get it like a link between here. Um, but yeah, once the supply comes in and that the three phase comes out of the garage instead of here, single phase, then this will be the supply coming in. That'll be the three phases. So you'll have to get it glanded in here, the cable up, chopped, and then just pushed to the side, uh, ready to get pushed back over. So that's what we'll do then. So, so what do you think of this little job? Not too bad, eh? There we go then, that's that fuse bar done then. So, tell me what you think. Obviously, well, it's not done, but it's about as far as we can get it though. So, yeah, nice and neat. So just got to glam that cable in, another dirt. Get the main cable in at the bottom and a, a temporary feed in. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start getting all these sockets second fixed. So, yeah, it's a nice property really. There's loads to do down here. Yeah, I love this nice, uh, Massive window then, and this beautiful view. It's not too bad, is it? See, I've got loads to second fix. It's got a few bedrooms off here then. Yeah, it looks like they've been painting already. Nice little picture light. A few sockets, got the locks on switches then. So I think they've gone for the expensive ones where you tap them and, uh, and the metal. So they're really nice switches, like a few hundred quid a switch, really expensive. Yeah, not too bad. So I'm just making sure my cables are where they should be. Yeah, we've got a little laundry room there. This is all in. And we've got like a hidden wall like that. Let's try and get out. But it's all getting panelled here. Like a nice panelling all the way around that wood panelling. So we can just make as many holes as we want to find that one. It should look like this. There should be a hole like that. So that's going to be like a flush wall like that that just shines down. It'll come on with the locks on sensor and uh, turn bits on. That's supposed to be a down light, so I have to <laughs> make sure that gets cut out correctly. But yeah, not too bad. So it looks like they've been doing this floor as well then. Yeah, it's looking great. So we've got a few uh, beam lights going on, wall lights. The floor lights have landed perfect. It's perfect actually, we'll put 47 mil boxes in. They're screened it up like 30 mil, and then that's what we've got left. So it's sat underneath the 20 mil flooring, so it's going perfectly. Oh, I love this. Look at this. That is cool, isn't it? This wood tile. And these pocket doors that come in, so one comes in this direction, this and this. So yeah, it's pretty sick, really. There we go, a little bedroom here. That's the locks on panel. And this is going to be like a little barn door thing, so you've got to open a window and say hello to the uh, your neighbouring guest. Some heating manifolds. So this is the locks on panels, it's all locked up at the moment, so we can't get in there, but that's what ports are done then. So we've got a power and a data one. So not too bad. Looking nice, let's have a look upstairs. So a couple of wall lights, socket, smoke detector, looking good. There we go, little desk over there. This is going to be an LED strip that's going to shine up up against the book, uh, like a bookcase. So you've got a big MVHR unit here with the other locks on panel then. So that's the second one feeding everything else. So yeah, that's all we've got time for today then. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we're next uploaded. So as always, I've got from me and we'll see you on the next one.